I'm just checking in. I wasn't planning on vlogging today, but I actually got a little bit of time where my son has gone out with his dad for a while. So um, I've been doing some productive stuff. I've been um, editing a lot of stuff. I've been kind of like going through and planning out some content. I got a collaboration video edited and uploaded, all the admin behind that sorted. I also got another video filmed, which is a favorites video, which um, should already be live by now. There's some really cool bits on there that I've been absolutely loving. One of them is this ring, I'm so obsessed with it. It's this beautiful green ring on a gold band with like a cubic zirconia halo. I got it from Amazon and it was only like 14 99 I think. This is, I think I've already shown this um, on the channel, but this is from Amazon as well. This is another new love of mine. But yeah, got a video filmed today, so I'm feeling super productive because Mondays aren't usually my filming days. Tomorrow is meant to be my filming day, so I've actually had an extra day to get some worky bits in, which is fantastic because I've had so many ideas bouncing around in my head at the moment and just like so much content that I'm wanting to churn out and just like things that I've been wanting to work on, but I don't really have too much time. I only have a Tuesday and a Thursday usually where I get to do worky bits, so the fact that I've got some extra time today is like an absolute bonus. I've also been going through um, and trying to plan some bits out for my son's birthday party because he's turning three very, very soon. And so I've been doing that today. So I've literally just got a section here for entertainment. I've then got food. I'm trying to kind of like think of bits and bobs that I can get that are just like picky bits. And then entertainment so far, we've got a bubble machine, bouncy castle, arts and crafts station, and then we're gonna have a basketball hoop set up with obviously basketballs. Um, food, my nan's making quiche. I've also got family making cheese straws. We're gonna make sandwiches. Um, we're gonna get pizzas, crisps. We're gonna get some healthier bits as well. Kind of like things like grapes, carrots, cucumber, and hummus. Um, maybe like some cut up bell pepper, party rings, bourbon biscuits, things like that. And that's kind of as far as I've got with the food at the moment. I obviously need to add like a ton more stuff because I want to have like um, some meats and things like that on there too. And then I've also just found the recipe for the cake that I'm going to make him this year. I was kind of like racking my brain thinking, what am I going to do for his birthday party theme? Because he's into like multiple things, but not like multiple things where he's like, that's kind of like the thing, that's the theme of his party. For his first birthday, I did True in the Rainbow Kingdom because he's a, he was obsessed with that and he watched that all the time. And then he does like Gabby's Dollhouse. I could do that, but then it's just a case of like doing, I don't know, it just, it seems hard to kind of correlate all the things to like tie in with the theme, like the decorations, the cake, um, and like the party bag fillers and stuff like that. So I was thinking of doing Paw Patrol, but I did Paw Patrol last year because he does like Paw Patrol. So I think I'm just going to go unthemed. And I don't know if that's like, I don't know. I don't know if that's like a bad idea because obviously I want to do themed parties while he's small. And I was thinking I could maybe like do a really cutesy safari one while he's like still young enough for it to like be acceptable for him to have like a cutesy birthday party. And then I just thought trying to get themed stuff it's just it's working out really expensive so I think I'm gonna go unthemed meaning that I'm just gonna do like a chocolate cake I found this recipe online and it just looked really really good um so I think I'm just gonna do either a two or three layer chocolate cake with chocolate frosting then I'm obviously gonna do like some piping work on it with the chocolate frosting and then have like giant chocolate buttons in kind of like the little swirls or like maybe in between the swirls, I'm not really sure. And then sprinkles. I think that my son's gonna really love that because he's absolutely obsessed with anything chocolatey, just like chocolate ice cream, chocolate cake, chocolate in general. So I think that will be really nice. So I'm glad that I've kind of like had a little brain dump on paper so that I can kind of just like get that out of my head because that was starting to bug me that I hadn't really planned anything yet. I've already booked the venue, um, but I need to start kind of like trying to buy some bits for it soon. So I might actually film like as and when I get some bits. If I'm fidgeting, it's because I need a wee, but I just kind of wanted to finish what I was saying before I went. So yeah, I'm just gonna carry on doing some more editing because I still have like a ton of content to edit. I probably have like another two vlogs to edit. And then my outfit today is really, really basic. 
I've got this very comfy, just long maxi dress on and then I chucked a long sleeve top on underneath just because it's not the warmest day today, which I'm not complaining about. I actually sat and had a hot chocolate today, which was very indulgent and very much enjoyed. I just had this Heinz lentil and bacon soup. I just picked this up from Tesco's when I was in Tesco's with my sister the other day. Um, so yeah, I think I'm just gonna do that. I also, I'm gonna put some of this because my son didn't finish this and he left the lid off. So obviously I don't want him to have it now, but I'm gonna put some of this on maybe like a Tupperware or something like flat. And I'm gonna leave it out on the balcony because I saw a TikTok about wasps. <laughs> I'll try and remember to link it if I possibly can, but it's basically like um, this guy was saying how he actually feels sorry for wasps. Wasps get like a really bad rap because people just think that they sting and they're like, they're not very nice. But he was like, I actually feel sorry for them because unlike bees, they aren't self-sustained, so they can't make their own food source like bees can. Bees can obviously make honey. So um, closer to autumn, winter, they start to obviously die off because the food source is running out and the only wasps that actually survive the winter are the queen wasps so all the other wasps actually die off and so i felt really bad and um, i just kind of want to help them because this guy was basically saying that if they're hovering around you they're looking for something sweet they're looking for something sugary they're looking for some kind of like sustenance and another interesting fact actually that this guy mentioned um he said that when a wasp comes near you, if you start waving your arms around, the wasp will think that there's a threat and apparently they release this um, like pheromone or something like that, I can't remember if that's the word that he used, which then attracts other wasps because it's basically them putting out a signal saying like, I'm in danger, come help, and then more wasps will come. So yeah, I, I love learning about stuff like that. So I'm probably gonna put a little bit of this outside for the wasps. I left this out as well because I want to go and water my plants. I've got some new plants on the windowsill and then I've put my plants that were on the windowsill, they're now outside. So I feel like I'm getting a bit of a green thumb now. I'm getting more, um, more greenery and flowers in my home, which I'm absolutely loving, I have to say. And I wonder if that's something that comes with age because that never really appealed to me in my 20s, but now I'm in my 30s. I love little things like that. I'm just having a look online I'm looking at kids party crafts so I've just added some stuff to my trolley so I've got some bouncing putty bags some magic bubbles then I've got the jungle pre-filled party bag so you get all this stuff in there then we've got moody squeeze faces we've got some bouncy balls as well and that all comes to 32.25 with free shipping as well um, I think that's like a decent amount of stuff so you get one two three four five things in the bag and then I've just added some extra things in there because I don't want to pay $3.99 shipping I would rather pay more and not have to pay anything for shipping if that makes sense I'd be I'd rather pay for product than pay for shipping um so I've added a few extra things all kids love bouncy balls also every kid that I know and when I was a kid I used to love these like little squishy things here kids love bubbles too and then I mean bouncing putty are you kidding me like every kid's gonna love that as well so yeah I'm probably gonna order these now just a little bit ahead of time so that I don't feel rushed because I felt quite rushed last year so I'm trying to get stuff ahead of schedule so that everything is kind of like chilled and relaxed and there's no like rushing closer to the actual day and then this is the recipe that I'm probably going to do for his birthday cake. <laughs> town 
on. I just popped out really, really quickly before Bubs gets home because I wanna do burgers for dinner tonight. I've got beef in the fridge, so I thought it's just really quick and easy and I wanna try out that chutney that I bought. So I just went to Waitrose and picked up these, but I also went into town because I wanted to go to Peacock because there were a pair of um, slippers that Theo wanted and then last minute he changed his mind and he said he didn't want them so I put them back and then we left the shop and he's been going on about them every single day since um, but I went in there and they were gone so no slippers unfortunately but I'm going to crack on and make some burgers um, I just used my top cop handbag again my little carry all in the PM size absolutely love this bag and then I also actually I forgot picked up some more of my sweets from Sula and I just got these from Waitrose, these butterscotch drops, because they're so, so yummy. So yeah, let's make some burgers together. So one thing that I realized is I haven't eaten since the soup, and now it's quarter to six. I really haven't had that much to eat today, which is so bad, and it happens every time I have like an admin slash worky day. I always get so engrossed in what I'm doing that I forget to eat, so. I nearly picked up something very naughty in TK Maxx. I did have a little browse in there, as you would have seen. I saw some of the candles. They've got some autumnal candles, pumpkin spice. They had salted caramel latte. What else did they have? They had donut shop. That's not really good. But the um, the pumpkin scented ones, they get me every time. They're so, so good. But yeah, there wasn't much time until closing, so I just had like a really quick browse in there. So let's make some burgers. So I'm just gonna heat my pan up really quickly while in the burgers because they won't take long at all. I'm just gonna wash my hands and then I'll be right back. I'm probably just gonna do half the pack and just see what that gets me. Gosh, that smells so good. I'm probably just gonna do one like this in a bun and then I'm gonna do one without. excuse the state of me but it's saturday i've got a wedding tonight so i haven't bothered getting ready whatsoever but i just wanted to jump on here really quickly because i've had that table over there for a while but i haven't had a storage solution for my underwear and my son's as well like socks and bits and bobs like that so i needed to buy a bedside table and i finally picked one up from b m this isn't the best look, I'm sure. I'm gonna put it down because it's really heavy. And it says that it's a gray color, but I feel like it has kind of like a blue tinge to it. And as you can see, it was reduced. There was a white one, but that was full price. So I went with the reduced one because not gonna lie, I actually preferred the color. So I'm really excited to see what this comes out like. So yeah, I'm gonna put this together now and then I need to pack up and get ready to head off because um, we're actually staying at somebody else's house tonight because obviously Theo can't come to the wedding. So, um, yeah, we're just going to stay at his nan's and then he's going to stay with his nan while I go. So I'm really excited and hopefully I managed to get everything done before we have to leave. 
So this is the table that I'm talking about. You'll just have to ignore the baby nail clippers. I was clipping my son's toenails earlier. And I really like the way that it looks, but I just need storage. So I think I'm going to move his books into his playroom. And then I'm just going to obviously use it for storage of our underwear once the bedside tables are set up. I've got a little trinket dish as well um, coming from Timu. So that should be coming very soon so I think that would look really pretty on there as well it's kind of like this ceramic flower shape almost I'll have to show you um in a haul when that stuff comes but yeah I'm really excited to get this looking just a little bit better and I always have like a serious issue with different razors and I've heard some really good things about Harry's razors. I just got this particular one. You could get one that had more blade cartridges but I just wanted to kind of give it a go and just see how I feel before I commit to actually getting some more but apparently these are meant to be really really good so I'm gonna try this tonight and see what kind of shave I get with this. Tuesday so I have just got back from the gym I've made myself a little post workout little meal I don't know brunch maybe it's like nearly 11 o'clock so yeah I guess it's brunch um, and today I've got a few things I wanted to do obviously I've got some admin to do because Tuesdays are my admin days but I also want to prep for my son's birthday party so his birthday is coming up in a couple of weeks and I'm going to take that off my lap because I'm so tempted to have a mouthful because I'm absolutely starving. So my son's birthday is coming up in a couple of weeks and I just want to get prepared because I feel like it's very easy to be like oh yeah I've got two weeks, oh yeah I've got a week, oh I've got a few days, I've got time um, and then all of a sudden it snowballs and it gets really stressful. So today what I want to do is I want to wrap some of his presents because I haven't bought all of them yet but um, I want to wrap the presents that I've got first and foremost and I also want to prep the gift bags for his party so just like little party bags that we're going to be giving to the kids because we've got 12 kids coming and that's including the birthday boy himself so I'm going to set up 12 gift bags for them so everybody has like a little something and there's still some bits that I need to get for them but I've got a majority of the things so I thought I'd just get that all set up and then what I was going to do is put the gift bags just kind of like in a big box so they're all ready to go so on the day of his party because it's not in the town where we live. I can just like pack it in the car and take it on over and they're all completely ready to go and we just pop them out on the table and everybody has a gift bag at the end of the party and it's just kind of like something that I can take out of my mind and not think about until like the day of his party which is fantastic so if I can kind of just like chip away at some of these little tasks then I'm going to do that. So yeah I just thought I'd maybe wrap some presents with you guys. I also need to clean really really badly. I need to hoover so bad. My son was eating some of his like vegetable crisps, the ones that we call chippies and he had loads of crumbs left in the bottom of his like pot. He put them in a little pot yesterday and he ran into the kitchen and just like shook the pot so there's crumbs all over the kitchen floor. So yeah I need to sort that out. I'm also also having an issue with my fish and I'm kind of like reaching out to people who are um, kind of like fish experts or people that have fish that know how to look after them really well because I'm really trying my best so basically when I got the fish I made sure I made sure that the tank was clean I made sure all the things that went in there were clean and I also washed the stones very thoroughly I would say I think I washed them three times and I had to change their tank because I know that you're meant to do like um, a 25% water change, aren't you, after two weeks. But their tank got so filthy, there was like scum all up the sides of the glass. It was covering all of the little kind of like plastic plants. It was just like all over the stones. It just looked really gross. And I was just like, I'm just going to give them a fresh tank. So I did that and that was less than a week ago and I'm already starting to see the scum come back up on the sides and I have a filter so there's like running water and some people suggested that I take them out of direct sunlight which I did do. I've moved the um, chest of drawers that they're on, I've moved that to the other side of the room so that they're completely away from the window. I was thinking maybe I could get one of those sun protector things, you know those like little sheets that... Um, they're like silver, you know the things that you can put on your windscreen, you can actually get them for fish tanks, my dad has them. I was wondering if maybe I could do that so that the light kind of bounces off. Is that kind of 
gonna help, I don't know. And then also somebody said don't feed them as much because maybe the food is kind of like building up where they're maybe not finishing it. So I've been still feeding them in the morning and in the evening, but I've just been doing smaller portions. Um, but that's not working and I don't understand. And my sister has had her fish the same length of time as me. Actually, she's had them longer and she's only just had to do one water change. And it wasn't even because the water was dirty. It just smelt a little bit. And so I'm really unsure as to what I'm doing wrong because I want them to be happy. Because the last time I did their, their tank change, the reason why I did that and I was like so adamant that I needed to do a full tank change is because where it had got so dirty so quickly, I noticed that usually when I go in there, they get really excited and scatty and they swim around because they know that they're gonna get fed. But um, they weren't doing that anymore and they started slowing down and I noticed that they were kind of just like at the bottom of the tank a lot of the time and they weren't really moving around very fast. If they were, they'd just swim very slowly. And I'm just worried about them. I just want them to be happy. They're fine for now. Like they're still very excited every time I go in there to feed them. But the scum on the sides is just building up again and it's stressing me out that I'm like, I'm missing a trick to make sure that they're obviously as happy as they possibly can be because I want them to have a nice life. Um, I know people will say they're just fish, but they're still living creatures. So I want them to be as comfortable and as happy as possible. So yeah, if you do have any recommendations or suggestions for me, please do leave them down in the comment section. I would really appreciate it. Anyway, I'm gonna crack on and eat my food and then I'm gonna wrap some presents and just do some kind of like party prep. And also, if you like a lot of flavour in your eggs, one second, just take a screenshot of this really quickly because this tastes incredible and you really don't need a lot. And I put this on everything. I put this on chicken, I put this on beef, I put this on my eggs. It is just so, so incredible. It's not in English, so I'm not really sure what it says but it is just the most incredible seasoning ever. Can we just take a second? Like, what is the weather doing in the UK? Because I'm sitting here absolutely sweltering at like nearly 11 a.m. I thought we were getting ready for autumn. I thought we were having cozy weather. I like started getting out my knitted sweaters again. I started getting out my coats again, started getting out my boots again. And now we're having a heat wave this week, but apparently tomorrow is meant to be the hottest day, which is actually okay because I've got plans with my mum tomorrow to take, excuse me, I need to up. Um, I've got plans with my mum tomorrow to take my son to Dobby's, which is like an indoor play area slash garden center. And it's like fully air conditioned in there. So it's gonna be so nice, even though it's just for an hour. <laughs> um, but it will still be really nice to be in the cold. But anyway, I just wanted to jump back on here really quickly before I start wrapping presents because I did actually pick up a couple of bits in town after my gym session today. So it's very dangerous that there is a TK Maxx next to my gym because I will go in there. And that was the case today. I really shouldn't have, but I did. So I'm just gonna show you the first thing that I got. Well, actually it was the second thing that I got, but it's like the less interesting thing. So I just picked up this Christmas book for my son. I'm starting to try and teach him about Christmas and now that he's getting a bit older, he understands a little bit more and obviously he's getting a bit more excited by it. So we um, have broken out like the Christmas stories. So I'm trying to find some Christmas stories that are kind of like gonna keep his attention. Um, and we actually watched our first Christmas movie together the other day, which was The Grinch, the animated one. And actually, did anyone know that apparently there is a Grinch 2 coming out, like the real life version, the Jim Carrey version, and he's reprising his role, even though he said that he was quitting acting. I remember in an interview, he said that if there was a role that really stood out to him, he would consider coming back to acting. And apparently he is gonna be playing the Grinch again in the Grinch 2. And also I read somewhere as well that there's gonna be a second animated Grinch as well, the Benedict Cumberbatch, I think, version. So yeah, don't quote me on that one, but um, the Jim Carrey one, apparently uh, somebody that I know has already seen the trailer. So woo, I am excited by that. But anyway, yeah, I just got him this really cute little Santa book. They've got some really good books in TK Maxx and this was only 2 dollars and he loves kind of interactive books like this where they have kind of like things that move and spin and pull up and down and stuff like that. And it's Christmas themed. So I'm super excited about that because I am ready. I am ready for the colder season. I'm ready for cozy sweater weather. I'm ready for hot chocolate weather. I'm just ready for it, okay? I'm over the heat. The heat does nothing for me. Anyway, moving on. 
to the most exciting bit because I only got two things in there and that was enough but I basically walked in there and it's dangerous because they have the bags right at the front of the store now and it was literally like there was kind of like an orb or a glow around this bag and I swear I heard the hallelujah chorus because this bag was just so incredibly beautiful and it looks very comparable to a bag that I found before and I didn't buy it and I was really kicking myself because the next time when I went into the store to buy it, it had already gone, which is obviously very um, common in TK Maxx because they usually only carry like one of something and once it's gone, it's gone. But I thought it would be very in keeping with the transition to autumn from summer because it is this beautiful bag. So the reasoning behind the fact that I think it would be a really good transitional bag is because the color of it is very autumnal, but I also feel like there's kind of like a little nod to the summer as well with the little flower on there. And I just thought this was so, so pretty. I love the size of it. It's absolutely perfectly sized for me. And I love the fact that it's got gold hardware with the, um, the brown faux leather another thing that i also really really love is there's a little pocket in the front so if you didn't want to carry a card holder or a purse that would fit your cards in there perfectly probably or maybe even a small phone if you have maybe like the flip phone the samsung galaxy um it could potentially fit in there but it's like a really decently sized bag and another thing that i love is it's got compartments so it's got a little magnetized section here another one at the back but then there's a secure section if you want to put any valuables in the middle and this is the brand flora and co i'll just show you that and this was 29.99 so i just couldn't pass it up i really love this kind of like cute little top handle bag um there's also like a big patch pocket in the middle of the bag and oh i didn't know this because i didn't actually check but it comes with a crossbody strap, which you know me, I love a top handle bag, but I do like the functionality of a crossbody, I have to say. So I do feel like this is gonna be really beautiful to wear. I feel like I wanna wear this, I don't know, I wanna go out for dinner now. I also wish that you could like feel the material of this because it is so, so buttery soft. But I'm very intrigued by this company now. After seeing this bag, I think this is beautiful. So I'm really tempted to check out their website. And I know obviously I do get sent handbags relatively frequently, but sometimes I just want something that doesn't look like it's designer. Just so, you know, I don't know if I took it to the gym or if I am out and about by myself. It's just, I just want something that's kind of like a little bit more understated and low key. And I feel like this fits the mark because it looks expensive. It looks really cute, pretty and chic, but it's obviously a much cheaper handbag. It also has feet on the bottom, which I absolutely love. I love the noise of kind of just plonking your bag down on the table and the feet making that kind of little noise. And then the handles are very interesting too. If you can see, they're very, very structured. Like there's absolutely no bend to them whatsoever. It's all metal on the inside of this handle. It's just so pretty. And I'm really happy with it. So yeah, I might actually pop my stuff in there now. Do I dare? I also like the fact that I can take this flower off. I'm not going to, because I think it actually looks better with the flower. It's very sweet. Um, but I could take the flower off if I wanted to and just wear it like this. But this kind of reminds me of a Fiorelli bag that I had before, which was in like a dark green kind of color, but this is a bit more structured and definitely much more my color palette now because I feel like I'm much more into neutrals and browns and stuff like that with my handbags. It's either black or brown. Um, so yeah, I'm really, really happy with that. And as you can see, I definitely have a thing for TK Maxx bags because I got this one from there too. This was the last one that I got from there. And then this is my newest one. I was just about to start, but actually I think I'm gonna change into a loungewear set. I actually picked up a brand new loungewear set from Matalan yesterday. I'm absolutely obsessed with it. So I'm gonna change into that, get really comfy because this is very figure hugging and some of these leggings and I just, I just wanna be comfy and I might even make myself a cup of coffee actually. So let's do that and then I'll show you the pieces that I've bought for my son and we'll get to wrapping.
coffee secured, but I thought I would just show you this loungewear set. Oh, I'm just trying on the wrapping paper, that's good. Um, yeah, so like I said, this is from Matalan and it was £10 and £10, so 20 altogether. I got a size medium in the trousers because I wanted a little bit of room, but not too much room to where they're like gaping and just, I feel like they're gonna get bigger over time anyway. They always seem to stretch anyway, don't they? And I got a large for the top because I wanted an oversized look. If I'm honest, I probably could have gone for an extra large because I really wanted that like, almost like drowning in your kind of, your sweater feel. But the large is fine, I think. I don't know if it was in stock in an extra large, but I think that it's really cute. I love that it's got these really stretchy big pockets and I wish that you could feel this because it is so, so soft. It's so comfortable. Probably not the thing that I should be wearing today during a heat wave because it is extremely warm at the moment in the UK, as I mentioned before. But I just want to be cozy and this is so cozy. I may have to change potentially in a little while into a t-shirt, but for now, I want to drink my cup of coffee, wrap some presents in my cozy new loungewear. And I've just still got my sports bra on from the gym because I'm lazy and I couldn't be bothered to change it. So yeah, I absolutely love it. I'll come in closer so you can kind of see the details. I mean, it's not revolutionary and you can definitely see where all my hairs fall out. I've just had to kind of like go over it really quickly because I washed my hair last night and I had so much hair stuck to this afterwards. Another thing that I really like about it actually is that it has this kind of like big pouchy pocket. I'm not really sure what you'd put in there, but you could maybe like put a tissue or even a little snack in there. And I just kind of tuck it in, which is actually hard to do with this like little pouch pocket. It's quite hard to actually tuck it into the trousers and make it look good but you know what I don't care about looking good it's so comfortable and I even feel like I'd be able to get away with this kind of out and about like if I was running to go get my nails done or something like that or just maybe like run into the supermarket really really quickly do you think I could maybe pull it off if I carried like a nice handbag or something what do you think could I style this out and about or is this just around the house because I kind of think that I would wear this out the house I also feel I'm so sorry I'm so chatty in this vlog but got a lot to say today but I feel like my hair has grown a little bit which is nice because I am trying to grow it out after I cut it short I just don't think the short hair suits me I don't know how this is going to go I've been using rosemary water um two to three times per week on my hair and what I usually do is I'll either just like randomly spray it on my hair and then I always kind of like buff my scalp or what I will do is after a hair wash, I'll then spray it onto my hair and I'll let my hair air dry so it kind of like seeps into my hair and my scalp. And again, I'll like, I'll exfoliate my scalp, like I'll, I'll brush it as well. But yeah, I think that I'm finally starting to notice a little bit of growth, which is nice um, because I just wasn't liking it as short as it was. I didn't really feel like I could do much with it and I just felt like, if I'm being completely honest, I feel like I looked like Velma from Scooby-Doo. Just didn't feel very attractive, not gonna lie. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to growing my hair out. I'm still really enjoying the darker hair, even though this is more close to my natural hair color. I'm still preferring this over kind of like the three-tone hair that I had before. But I still notice with every hair wash, I think I've had three hair washes since now and every single time dye comes out. So I do think it potentially has lightened up a little bit. Um, but not too much. So I'm really enjoying that. And I feel like if I start to see um, like multi-tonal things that I'm not really liking, then I may dye it again. Although I'm not gonna lie, I am kind of tempted to let my mom give me highlights again because I was looking at some old videos this past week and I really like the videos where I had highlights and my mum did them. Every time I've tried to do my own highlights, they've not worked out, but my mum does them with the Jerome, I think it's the Jerome Russell highlighting kit, and that's the one that I use, but I always completely screw up my hair, whereas my mum does it really, really well because she used to be a hairdresser. So yeah, I'm not sure what to do. Stay dark or go a bit lighter. I just, I can never be like happy with my hair, can I? But I'm finally growing out my bangs. Can you see that I can actually tuck my hair behind my ear now? Thank goodness. I'm never gonna cut my bangs in again. 
famous last words, I know, but um, I actually have a Timu order coming very, very soon, which I'm so excited about. There is gonna be a full Timu unboxing because I ordered quite a lot of stuff on there to try and I obviously wanna give you guys a review about what stuff to get yourself and what stuff to potentially avoid because there are things that you do need to avoid on their website. But one thing that I ordered on there is actually a light for my phone, which I'm really excited about. Um, it seems like it's like a dupe for the one that everybody's going crazy over that's on Amazon, but it's a fraction of the price. And then I need some new slippers because my slippers are beat up. I've had them for I think two or three years now and they are disgusting. And it's getting to the season where I need to wear slippers. And so I've basically got the exact same style, but in a different color. So I'm really excited for them. They're kind of like the Ugg style slippers, the slide on ones. And another thing, sorry, going back to the hair is I've ordered some faux bangs to see whether or not I can just use like clip-in bangs because I do every now and again look back at like pictures and footage and stuff of me when I did have a fringe and I'm like oh that really did look cute but then I forget that if it was a picture it was obviously a staged picture where I had done my hair and made sure I looked good before I took the picture and I have to remember that bangs are so much maintenance they don't look good when you first wake up you always have to style them and I also feel like there's too much going on with my face with glasses and a fringe and it's just a hassle because it's very hard to like clip bangs back or to like style your hair with bangs if you don't want them for that particular hairstyle. So I just thought I would try some clipping ones. I accidentally ordered two different types. So I'll maybe just like see which ones I prefer and then send one back. That was my mistake, but they're really inexpensive. I think they were only a couple of pounds each. This coffee is so good. I have not bought coffee syrup in a really long time. I've just been using honey, like organic honey, um, and it's been tasting incredible. And I think I'm just gonna stick with this. Although, when I was in TK Maxx, I did see the pumpkin spice, but they only had the really big bottles, the like 7.99 ones, those huge kind of like containers of the pumpkin spice. So I don't think that I'm ready to commit to that, but I am very excited. I think I might treat myself very soon to a little pumpkin spice latte from Starbucks. Ah, oh, yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna put something on the telly in a second. Um, but I wanted to show you what I got for my son for his birthday. I hope this is interesting content. I'll move back a bit so you can see it. So I got him this card. Usually I do personalized cards on Moonpig, but this year I decided against it. I just felt like it was a lot easier and I saw this card in Card Factory, I think, and it was just, it was really cute and I just liked it. So I thought I'd get it and it was a nice big size as well. I don't know why, but I always like to get my son big cards and it's one of those pop-out cards. So yeah, I got that. And I would definitely suggest that you use Card Factory if you're looking for cards, especially kids birthday cards. Like if you want numerical cards, so like, you know, one or two or three, blah, 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 because they're so cheap, but they're so good. And they have designs that you don't really see many other places. And honestly, they're a fraction of the price of anywhere, even places like B&M, they're cheaper than them, cheaper than supermarkets, so, and definitely cheaper than Clinton cards, although I do love Clinton. Um, but this was only 149. So then moving on to presents, he's just started getting into puzzles, and so I wanted to get him this one. He has a dinosaur one that he's obsessed with, and he does it literally like 20 times in a row. Um, but I thought I would do a proper, proper puzzle. So this is a Peppa Pig one. It was from the works, it was only six pounds, and you get four different puzzles, but each puzzle has a different amount of pieces, so you can kind of go up in toughness basically it's almost like going up a level so this one has 12 pieces 16 20 and 24 thought that would be really nice for him to try and like a really nice quiet activity for him to do then this is from where's this from this is from starlings this spider-man watch we were playing in the shop the other day and he was obsessed with this he would not put this down so i had to get it for him and it just looks like that comes with comes with a load of different functions. It's got games on it, so there is Laser Craze, Goblin Bubble Blast, Tire Track Patterns, Rhino Robbery, it's got nine o'clock faces, it's got a stopwatch and an alarm clock. 
and I just thought that'd be really cool for him to have. He's really into Spider-Man at the moment and just like superheroes in general, um, although he's not watched any like Spider-Man shows or movies, but he really liked the watch, so I'm really happy to give this to him. For anyone who doesn't watch Gabby's Dollhouse or have small children that watch Gabby's Dollhouse, my son is obsessed with that show. He absolutely loves it and um, he has a few of the characters. He has Pandy, he has a teddy that looks like Pillow Cat, but it's not Pillow Cat. He thinks it's Pillow Cat. Um, and then he has all of the toys, like the little kind of miniature toys. Um, and now we've got Kitty Fairy. He saw her in Clinton Cards and he was adamant he was having this. Like, <laughs> I can hear some children outside my door. Um, yeah, I think I've shown this in a past vlog, but I picked this up from TK Maxx. It's just a guitar. He absolutely loved his cousin Macy's guitar. She's got like a blue one that he likes to play with. And this was only $12.99. So I can't wait to give this to him. We can have like a little jam session. I picked up this this morning from Starlings and it was only six pounds for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. A 10 pack of Play-Doh. And his has pretty much all dried out. to maybe <laughs> wear out about to the shops and I'm gonna pop out really quickly and get some sellotape. I also think I'm gonna get a pack of sweets because I've just had one of my son's, um, I just saw them in the cupboard when I was looking for tape. I've just had one of his like little gummy vitamin things and now I've got like a taste for, like I, I want chewy sweets. Um, so I might just go to Poundland really quickly and just pick up some tape and some sweets because I'm just letting myself indulge at the moment. I'm due my period very soon and I'm very, very cravy, so it's fine. I'm just kind of like allowing myself and I can get back on track. I'm still eating very, very well, apart from like the odd treat here and there, but a majority of my meals are very healthy. I'm getting like my protein in, I'm getting my vegetables in, I'm having a smoothie every day, I'm taking my vitamins, I'm working out three times a week and I'm very active, so I don't know why I feel like I need to justify myself to get a treat, but yeah, I do feel like I'm going to, but I think I'm going to pack up my new handbag and take that with me. Even if it is just like a little trip to town. I'll turn this off, sorry, because I don't really feel like you're going to be able to hear me. That footage could be completely useless. Um, so if you couldn't hear me, I'm really sorry. <laughs> but I'm going to, yeah, quickly pack up this little bag and I'm going to change out of this outfit. I got this um, oversized t-shirt from Amazon. It was delivered yesterday and I've been absolutely loving it. It looks like I'm wearing a men's t-shirt, but it's not, it's, well, I mean, it could be, I think they're unisex. It's the um, Fruit of the Loom, is that what it's called on Amazon? They're really, really inexpensive. I think this t-shirt was 4 99 and they're just such good quality. And I get the Fruit of the Loom sweatshirts as well when I get sweatshirts off of Amazon too. So I would highly, highly suggest them. Right, I'm just gonna get changed really, really quickly. And some packed and then yeah we'll head to the shops <laughs> 